Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to Swayam Prabha. The course title is Principles of Marketing and the lecture title is New Product Development. This is Module 8, Lecture 1. I am Dr. Shoma Singh Gupta, Associate Professor Commerce, Kamla Nehru College, University of Delhi. In this module, we will cover the following topics. Product life cycle, concept and marketing strategies, new product development, concept and process, product support services. In this first lecture, we will discuss product life cycle, concept and marketing strategies. Product life cycle. Now you are well aware of this term life cycle as is in the case of human beings. A child is born, he grows up and then he reaches adulthood, adult, then he becomes a middle-aged person, old age, and finally death take, takes place. Likewise, products also have a limited life. And like human beings, they pass through several stages in their life cycle. Now, the duration of this life cycle may be too short in certain products, in case of certain products, like fashion goods, they come they reaches the peak and then they vanishes away uh, from the market. Uh, but in case of certain uh, industrial products, the life cycle uh, duration may be very long. So for years, they may exist in the market. But nevertheless, we can say that this pattern is followed by all the products. They come, they grow and then they go away from the market and new products take their, uh, take their place. So the stages through which the individual products develop over a period of time is known as product life cycle. It is the cycle through which every product goes through from introduction to withdrawal or eventual demise. The product life cycle stages explain the growth and decline of sales, revenue, profits associated with the products or services. So at different stages, you will have different types of or different sales, revenue and profit figures. Uh, the marketer has to develop appropriate strategies and tactics in each of these stages in order to improve their market position and profitability. Like in the introduction stage, you have to spend heavily on uh, advertising and promotions and the sales will be less, the profit figures will be less. So you have to find out uh, certain ways so that you can capture the market. So that will decide the strategy. At the maturity stage, the competition is high and so you have to maintain your position. And at the decline stage, you have to maybe add new features so that it gives a flip to the product life cycle. And when you are introducing a new product in the market, then you have to decide how uh, uh, you will make sure this product exits, exits from the market, but all the stock lying in your go down should be sold off. So uh, at different stages, different strategy is used by the marketer. Now, the product life cycle management is necessary to improve the performance of the product at different stages of product life cycle curve. Now, there is a definition by William J. Stanton. Uh, uh, from its birth to death, a product exists in different stages and in different competitive environments. Its adjustment to these environments determines to great degree just successful its life will be. So this explains that how the product life cycle is a determining factor for deciding the marketing strategies. Now what follows from the discussion are certain assumptions of product life cycle curve. Now it is certain that products have a limited life. 
Product sales pass through distinct stages, each posing different challenges, opportunities and problems to the seller. So accordingly, the marketer will decide the marketing strategies or tactics. Profits rise and fall at different stages of the product life cycle curve. Products require different marketing, financial, manufacturing, purchasing, human resource and other strategies at each of the uh, stages of the life cycle. So this is as I told you that PLC understanding the PLC or the product life cycle curve of a product is very important uh, for a marketer. In fact, before beginning or introducing a new product in the market, they has to uh, predict what will be the life cycle of that product and accordingly be prepared for different stages of product life cycle curve. Stages of product life cycle. Products typically passes through the following stages, introduction, growth, maturity, decline and abandonment. Now in certain books you will not find abandonment. They, they have uh, uh, discussed only the first four that is introduction, growth, maturity and decline. Now the length of the and the cycle of the cycle and the duration of each stage vary from product to product depending upon different factors as I told you in fashion goods it is the duration is too quick uh, but in a, a certain heavy goods it may be too uh, uh, spread out. So the rate of market acceptance, the ra uh, rate of technical change, nature of the product ease of entry these and many other factors they are the data determining factors which decides the length of the cycle and the duration of each stage of the product life cycle curve now we will discuss the different stages of the product life cycle in uh, the next few slides now the typical product life cycle curve looks like this bell-shaped curve which is uh, just like what we make in normal distribution curve so we find that there are different stages in it and you can see that introduction growth maturity decline is there and later on there is abandonment this is shown in some figures and in certain others it is not shown now that can be considered as the sales revenue curve also you find that during the introduction stage the sales revenue is quite less and likewise the profit is also negative or that means there is law there are losses initially and then there is a growth stage and then reaches the maturity where the sales revenue is high but profit some so, somehow it starts uh, it reaches its peak and somehow it uh, starts dwindling declining because of the competition uh, in the market and then there is a decline stage where the sales revenue and profit both the figures they uh, start declining uh, going downwards and abandonment stage the again the profits will dwindle and uh, the, the the revenue will fall drastically and the mark uh, that's why uh, the product will vanish away from the market the uh, most of the time the manufacturer will discontinue the production and sale of that kind of product so this is the typical product life cycle curve but as i told you that in case of fashion product this curve may be just a uh, uh, a v shape or a reverse v shaped that is it uh, goes reach, goes up, reaches the peak and declines. But in certain other, this shape of the curve may be more slanting. So it depends upon the type of the product, the duration of each of the stage will vary with the market acceptance and other factors that we have discussed. The technological development, new products coming in the market, that decides the shape of the curve. The first stage of product life cycle is introduction stage. Now, uh, in this stage, the product is introduced to the market and its acceptance is obtained. So the situation is that people are initially not aware about the product. You are coming out with the product, you are introducing it to the market. So you have to make them know that such and such product with such and such free features is being introduced by this company or this brand. So awareness generation is the most important step in the introduction stage. 
Now, sales volume and profit margins are obviously very low in this stage because of different reasons. The potential consumers are, as I said, not aware about the product. Even if they are aware about the product, they already like certain other products. So they have a loyalty towards uh, other products or even if they don't have loyalty, they take time to shift from the existing products. Now, heavy expenditure is therefore incurred by the company on advertising and sales promotion to gain quick acceptance and create primary demand. So the growth rate of sales is very slow in, uh, in this situation and the costs are high due to limited production uh, and technological problems. So on the one hand, you have huge cost. Uh, on the other, the sales revenues are too less and that's why there is uh, no profit margin. In fact, there may be chances of losses at this stage. So specifically, if we enumerate the features of introduction stage, we can say that new product, product ideas are generated, operationalized and tested here. The high investment of startup cost and high operational cost is there. Slow sales volume to start or start up the organization or low sales turnover will be there. Little or no competition you will face because you are coming out with a new product. So the competitors are yet not, they, have, uh, they, uh, they haven't introduced any other product or of similar, on similar lines. Uh, limited distribution will be there because distributors will also be reluctant to take up your product and keep, the, keep those product in their stores or deal in, with, uh, in your product until and unless you are a renowned producer and you have certain successful brands already uh, operating in the market. The price is relatively high. Product generally incurs loss during this stage. Now, uh, keeping all these features in mind, the marketer will design the strategy at the, uh, for the introduction stage. Strategies to be adopted at introduction stage. Now, the aim at this stage is to keep create demand. That is the most important one and make people aware about the product and then create demand. Customers have to be prompted to try the product. So these two aims are there. Now the following strategies may be adopted to introduce a product successfully. Heavy expenditure on sales promotion scheme should be made. Money back guarantee may be offered to encourage the people to try the product. Attractive gift as an, intro, as an introductory offer may be offered to the customers. Attractive discount to dealers. So all sort of sales promotion schemes uh, 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 which will promote uh, uh, a trial, at least trial by the customer or buying the product they are making them aware such type of schemes are introduced at that at this stage some unique features uh, built into the product are also highlighted during this stage and you have to advertise it well so that everybody gets to know about the product its features and the brand uh, brand name of the product the second stage of product life cycle curve is the growth stage now here the product is gaining acceptance in the market and growing in terms of sales, market share, profits. So it is a better condition than introduction stage. So demand and sales here grow rapidly um, and uh, the product gains acceptance in the market. Economies of scale occur as production and distribution are widened. So what was happening in, uh, in at introduction stage, demand was not there. So uh, full production was not happening. But here in this stage, as the demand grows, the, the, the company will enjoy economies of the large scale production as well as distribution competition but it will increase during this stage of course the competitors will get to know about this product and they will try to introduce their product also in the market uh, and so the prices will fall because other competitors are trying to enter the market uh, now attempt is made to improve the market share by deeper penetration uh, into the existing market or entry into the new market. So you have now, you are more confident, the manufacturer is more confident and he has gained acceptance in a limited way. Now he can 
um, in, uh, uh, increase his uh, scope by adding uh, new areas uh, in uh, or uh, or reaching different regions so that is uh, possible in case of growth stage because you have more resources and you are confident that the demand of the product will rise uh, and uh, it has gained acceptance by the customers so the promotional expenditure uh, here it uh, it will be high because the competition are uh, competitors are entering the market market and uh, in this increasing competition situation you need to spend on advertising to keep reminding the customers that your brand has certain features which are unique and it is better than the competitors so you have to keep on spending on advertising and also there is a need for effective di distribution because uh, uh, distributors uh, will also you uh, they have limited scope the limited space say retailers have limited space the distributors have limited scope and there are competitors who are fighting for these spaces and scope so again you have to spend heavily on distribution as well as uh, say sales promotion which is meant for distributors also so profits are high on account of large scale production and rapid sales turnover so this is the positive part that you will gain profits in such type of market and large scale production is happening so cost will be reduced and sales turnover will be higher so higher profits will be there now the features of growth stage if we uh, specifically mention we can say that the the greater awareness about the product among people all the but customers and potential customers they are now aware about this product even if some of them have not uh, tried this product or not bought this product sales volume increases significantly cost reduces due to the economies of scale uh, large scale production and distribution as i, I uh, told you that uh, demand increases and that's why now you can have full capacities production uh, so per unit cost goes on uh, decreasing profitability begins to rise because of these two things sales higher cost lower competition begins to increase with a few new players in establishing market increase competition leads to price decreases because first you will decrease the price so that the competitor should not enter the market and when they eventually enters the market there is a kind of a price war and because of that you have to dec decrease your prices so these are the features of growth stage strategies to be adopted at growth stage the aim at this stage is uh, that demand has to be increased uh, you have to beat the competitors and create a brand image so the strategies which may be adopted by the marketer are brand image of the product is created through advertising and publicity so you have to keep spending on advertising and publicity the price of the product is more uh, competitive you have to make it competitive to uh, first uh, not let the competitors enter the market and when they enter eventually then what you have to do you have to maintain the prices at a uh, lower uh, lesser uh, limit so that it is at par with the competitors product now customer service is enhanced um, you have to provide different services to the customer distribution channels have to be strengthened to make the product easily available wherever they are it is uh, required or demanded by the customers new versions of the product may be introduced to satisfy the requirements of different types of customers also you can introduce a kind of a unique selling proposition to differentiate your product from that of the competitors product now the third stage of product life cycle curve is maturity stage in this stage the growth rate becomes stable now uh, it's a kind of a plateau situation in the curve you can see now you are at a higher position but the the growth potential are less now so after this stage only the decline is possible the growth uh, you have reached the maximum growth so competitive pressure increases more and more competitors they will enter in this market segment or product segment prices and profits both will fall drastically start uh, falling actually in case of maturity stage but heavy expenditure has to be incurred on promotion to create the brand loyalty among the customers firms try to modify or improve the product they try to add new features to develop new uses of the product 
and to attract new customers in order to increase the sales. Now, weak firms are forced to leave the industry in this maturity stage. The features of maturity stage are costs are lowered as a result of increasing production volumes and experience curve effects. Sales volume peaks and market saturation is reached. New competitors enter the market as we discussed earlier also. Prices tend to drop due to proliferation of competing products and you find that the profits are declining. Strategies to be adopted at maturity stage. Now the aim here is to prolong the maturity stage. In terms of sales revenue, the product is at its peak and thereafter there is only decline. So it is always better to prolong the maturity stage so that you can keep on earning that high sales revenue. Brand differentiation and feature differentiation is emphasized to maintain the increase mark or increase the market share because the competitors are there and you have to beat the competitors. The strategies to be adopted at this stage is uh, basically as more competition is there and you have to beat them. So product is differentiated from the rival products. You have to make them know what features are there, make the customers know what features are unique in this product and how it is better than the competitor's product. Uh, lifetime or longer period maturity is offered. Brand image of the product is emphasized in such a stage because uh, you have to time in again, make the customer realize the value of your brand. New markets may be developed so you can, uh, you can introduce this product for the new market in terms of geographical terms as well as well as for demographic in demographic terms also in the sense that certain body oil which was used uh, Johnson and Johnson uh, we have discussed earlier also. So this brand was uh, making body oil for uh, the kids. Now this this was extended for other type of customers also like the women and old age people how this oil is beneficial to the skin and bones of uh, other age group people as well. So that is the new market in demographic terms I and mean, in terms of geographic it always happens that you uh, capture new areas. Then new uses of the products are developed as is the case best example was in India milk food products were there. There was one product known as uh, condensed milk which was a kind of a tea maker but later on what they said uh, they asked the customers to send the recipes what else you can make with condensed milk and they used to publish it as well as it was written on the packages of the condensed milk how you can make other products with the help of this condensed milk so new uses of the products can be developed reusable packaging is also one good strategy at maturity stage so people will buy the product so it's a kind of a sales promotion scheme so the if the package it's in itself can be used as a container so many customers will buy the product just for the sake of the container so these are the strategies adopted at maturity stage coming to the fourth stage of product life cycle this is the decline stage now here market peaks and levels of during saturation you know that at the maturity stage but now it is start it starts to decline few new customers buy the product and repeat orders disappear prices decline further due to stiff competition and firms fight for retaining market share or replacement sales sales and profits inevitably falls during this stage and substantial unless substantial improvements in the products are made by the manufacturers like new features are added to the product reduction in costs are made if these strategies are not uh, adopted by the marketer then naturally sales will decline and the cost will go on rising and the profits figure will uh, vanish away the product is gradually displaced by some new products due to changes in buying behavior of customers promotion expenditure is drastically reduced the decline may be rapid and the product may soon disappear from the market. 
Now, however, decline may be slow when new uh, uses of the products are created as we have discussed in case of maturity stage also. So this is the situation here. The sales are not happening. The profits are low. The market has reached its uh, saturation. Competitors are there. So that is decline stage. Features of decline stage. In this stage, the cost increases. The obvious reason is lower demand of the product, which results in lower production. So there is loss of economies of scale and the cost increases. The second feature is that sales volume declines drastically. The reason behind it is again increased competition in that product category. Also, the consumers, they have moved away from your product to the competitor's product or new products. The prices are low. The reason is the same that competition is more. So the goal is to survive and keep on selling the products. That's why the company will keep the prices low at the decline stage. All this results in lower profit. So profitability diminishes. The costs are high, sales volume and prices are low. low so the margins are low. Profit becomes more a challenge of production or distribution efficiency than increased sales. So what does it mean? That you can increase the profit by two ways. One, to increase the sales volume and the margins. And the second one is to reduce the cost. So the first one is not possible at the decline stage. You cannot increase the sales volume further. So what you can do is you can reduce the cost and that that can be bring in through you know, efficient production and distribution so these are the features of decline stage strategies to be adopted at decline stage the aim here is to avoid sharp decline in sales you know that the sales are declining but still uh, since you are not ready with a new product or you want that the product should survive for a longer period of time so you don't wish for a sharp decline in sales the strategies to be adopted here then are new features are added and repositioning is done to give a flip to the declining product life cycle curve the packaging may be made more attractive economy packs or models may be introduced to revive demand selective distribution may be adopted to reduce the cost so here your idea is to prolong it and uh, uh, add new features and reposition it so the customers still stick to your product only and also you try to reduce the cost so that some profits keep on coming so that is these are the strategies to be adopted at decline stage the last stage of product life cycle curve is the abandonment uh, stage uh, ultimately, the firm abandons the product in order to make better use of its resources. They know that they cannot survive in the market with this product uh, because there will be only losses. Preferences, As preferences of customers change, new and more innovative products, they replace the abandoned product. When the decline is rapid, the product is abandoned. New products with unique features may be introduced. Some firms cannot bear the loss and they sell out this product. So that is the abandonment stage. Strategies to be adopted at abandonment stage. The aim here is to prolong and postpone this stage. Save the product as far as possible and especially if you have only one product and you haven't come out with a new product and you know that with the end of this product the firm will also end so they try to postpone this stage and uh, if it is certain that this product has to go then they clear out the stocks by uh, any means by offering different discounts and allowances so the stocks get cleared now the strategies which may be adopted here is that many firms abandon the obsolete product in order to put their resources to better use. You know that uh, innovative products are introduced in the market to take place of the abandoned products. As far as possible, attempts should be made to postpone the stage. But if the decline is rapid, the product model may be abandoned and new model has to be introduced with unique features. 
old model or product is phased out and stocks cleared by offering them on heavy discount as you know that it happens in case of even um, uh, automobiles when the company is introducing a new model and the old model is at the stage of this abandonment they offer heavy discount on that product which they are phasing out like the old wagon or car yeah, so around 50,000 rupees discount was offered um, on a Wagonar car, the old model, when it was going away from the market. If it is not possible or there are heavy losses, the manufacturer may seek merger with a stronger firm. So these are the strategies at abandonment stage. Now here is a comparison table comparing the four important stages that is uh, introduction, growth, maturity and decline in terms of different strategies. If we talk about product, at introduction stage it is basic product, limited models, frequent changes, growth, product extensions, more models, frequent changes, service and warranty. At maturity stage, diversify brand and models because competitors are there. Decline stage, eliminate or phase out unprofitable models. Promotion strategy, in case of introduction, the idea is to generate awareness, stimulate demand, sampling, uh, growth stage, aggressive promotion and advertising is necessary, stimulate demand, maturity, advertise and promote heavily, comparative advertising has to be done because uh, again competitors are there, a decline, limited promotion to remind the customers and sales promotion of course to phase out the old model. Pricing. Prices are very high um, or, or the high cost and high startup cost both is there in case of introduction stage and that's why prices are high. In case of growth, prices fall and this is because of efficient production and competition. Maturity, prices fall further because of competition. Decline, prices stabilize at a low level and you have to give discounts and allowances also. Distribution strategy in, in at introduction stage limited distribution is there because people are not aware about your product at growth stage expanded distributors um, builds long term relations at maturity extensive distribution margins drop at decline stage phase out unprofitable outlets sales promotion. At introduction stage uh, heavy sales promotion to entice trial growth stage reduce uh, sales promotion to take advantage of high demand uh, maturity increase it to encourage brand switching and decline reduce it but done to clear out models or stock when we talk about specifically advertising uh, in case of promotion again introduction it is build awareness growth awareness and interest maturity brand differences a decline reduce but done in retain to retain the hardcore loyals. So this is the comparative study of uh, all the stages. Significance of product life cycle curve. Now the concept is very important for the market. It indicates that products have a limited life and the management must develop new products or improve existing ones to replace them to maintain sales and profits. So the marketer is well aware that there is a product life cycle and the product we, which is even doing very very well in the market now right now it has a limited life and sooner or later it will go away from the market so they have to make this realization the life of a product can be prolonged or changed by developing new uses reducing prices using aggressive promotion changing package brand or label and by improving the product uh, uh, PLC, this is used as a tool of business forecasting for different stages and also it points out the need for significant and periodic adjustments in the marketing strategy or marketing mix of the firm. Timely recognition of the need to change marketing strategy that also comes if you study uh, PLC well. It is disciplined and periodic review uh, that it uh, provides a profile of products position. 
Now, this concept does not perfectly explain the behavior of all products and it may be difficult to predict the timings of various stages. So, uh, it's not a very reliable uh, kind of tool. So, along with PLC, you have to use other data and statistics as well. Nevertheless, it serves as a framework for taking sound decisions at each stage. To summarize this lecture, we can say product life cycle is the cycle through which each product goes through from introduction to withdrawal or eventual demise. Products typically passes through the following stages, introduction, growth, maturity, decline and abandonment. The marketer has to develop appropriate strategies and tactics in each of these stages in order to improve its market position and profitability. The life of a product can be prolonged or changed by developing new uses, reducing prices, using aggressive promotion, changing package, brand or label and by improving the products. Thank you very much students. So this was new product development module 8 lecture 1.